Hello friends, welcome to British Academy and today we are going to discuss about modulus of a real number. So here, the modulus or absolute value of a real number x can be denoted by mod x and here mod x can be defined as mod x is equal to x if x is greater than 0 and it can also be a negative x if x is less than 0 and it may also equal to 0 if the value of x is equal to 0. For example, let us consider here mod 6. So we know that the value of x which is nothing but 6, it is greater than 0. So we get here the positive values that is 6. Not only here the positive values, if the modulus is enclosed with negative values, it also gives the positive values. For example here, we have mod minus 5. As here, the modulus of any real number is never negative, we get here the value of mod minus 5 as 5. And also the value of minus mod root 2 would be positive root 2. And now let us learn how to find the absolute values of equations and inequations. First here let us consider the value of mod x as 3. So we get here the solution of this equation as x is equal to 3 or minus 3. So from the definition which we have discussed earlier, we can say that if the value of x is positive 3, we get mod 3 value as 3. And let us consider the value of x as negative 3, we get mod minus 3 as 3. And then if the value of x is 0, then mod 0 value would also be a 0. And now let us consider a negative number for mod x. So if we consider the mod x as minus 4, then we have no solution for it as the absolute value is never negative. And now let us assume what would be the value of mod x if it is equal to 0. So in such cases, we have the value of x as 0 as the value of mod 0 would be 0. We can understand this concept very clearly with the help of following example. So here we have to solve mod x is equal to 1 by 3 and show the solution on a real line which is nothing but a number line. So here the given equation is mod x is equal to 1 by 3. That implies we get the value of x as 1 by 3 which is a positive real number or we get the value of x as a negative real number which is minus 1 by 3. Now let us represent both the values of x on a number line. So here there is a number line and in the middle we have 0 and on the left hand side we mark the negative values so we get here the value minus 1 by 3 and on the right hand side of the 0 we mark the positive values which is 1 by 3. It is now clear that if mod x is equal to a when a is greater than 0 that implies we get the value of x as a which is a positive number or we also get the value of x as a negative number which is minus a. Likewise we can also solve the other example here. We have solved mod x plus 1 is equal to 3. As here the given equation is mod x plus 1 is equal to 3. The value of x which is nothing but x plus 1 is 3 that is positive or it may be minus 3. So now let us see the solution if the value of x plus 1 is equal to 3. So that implies here we get the value of x as 3 and by transferring plus 1 to the other side we get minus 1 and therefore we get the value of x as 2. And now let us consider the value of x plus 1 as minus 3. So what would be the value of x? So we get here x value as minus 3 and by transferring plus 1 to the other side we get minus 3 minus 1. That implies we get the value of x as minus 4. And now let us verify which of these two solutions is correct. So we can verify just by substituting the values of x in the given equation. So on substituting x is equal to 2 in the equation x plus 1 is equal to 3 we get mod 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. That implies we get mod 2 plus 1 as mod 3 is equal to 3. So as here the LHS is equal to RHS we can say that it is a true value. Now let us substitute negative 4 in the equation. So on substituting we get mod minus 4 plus 1 is equal to 3. So mod minus 4 plus 1 would come as mod minus 3 and we know the value of mod minus 3 is 3. So this also becomes a true solution for the given equation. Now let us represent both the solutions in the number line which we have drawn earlier. 
So here we have negative 4 as the value of x which would be on the left side of the 0 and then we have plus 2 so it would be on the right side of 0 somewhere here. So this was a basic introduction on modulus of a real number. Hope you understood the concept. To like this video, thanks for watching. Have a good day.